it's Sunday and this is I think the first time I've picked up my camera because I've just been having such a lovely time with my friends um, I haven't even edited yesterday's vlog so I don't know how that ended we, um, we went for a walk we came back to the hayloft we had a glass of champagne each that Clary brought with her that her husband Ed had chucked in the suitcase the night, in, well, popped it in the fridge the night before and then chucked it in the suitcase in the morning. So that was lovely. Then we walked literally over the road to the pub. It was so nice. And had our food and decided to take our puddings um, back over to our accommodation and have our puddings there so that was gorgeous and, um, and then we just sat talking and I edited my vlog and uploaded it I was falling asleep and then I had an awful dream that I'd oh it was muddled it was muddled but it was to do with the vlog and to do with everyone got upset with me <laughs> what is that about this morning we got up chatted over cups of tea and got got showered and dressed and ready went into Newbury had a lovely breakfast went to Bill's had a, had a yummy breakfast some coffees then dropped Kerry off at the train station because she's off this evening to watch Billie Eilish with Brooke so Kerry is Brooke's mum and Brooke is my goddaughter Brooke and Taya are the ones that got flooded last a year ago in March in the massive floods in London and I had the girls to come and stay with me was it March or was it April whatever it was I had the girls to come and stay with me in the summer holidays for a few nights well I think it was it wasn't even a week in the end but I thought I was going to have them I didn't know when they were going to go home I kind of thought it was going to be indefinite but Brooke had fallen and had a suspected break to her elbow, it's fine. So she had to go back home early to see the specialist. She's fine. So Kerry and Brooke were going to Billie Eilish tonight. So we dropped Kerry off at the train station and then Claire and I went back to the hayloft. I'll put the links below for the hayloft and I will have done that for yesterday's vlog as well because it was a very lovely, comfortable, clean, gorgeous place to stay. I think really good value, especially with three of us there. You can have four people in there. And if you've got a bigger group than that, there's another little house on the property that is a one bedroom, double bedroomed house, little mini cottage. So that, that's always an option, especially for us girls if we if we go, if all of us can get together, because there's five of us in our group from school. They're my school girlfriends. So then Clary is, she's an artist, but she's a lapsed artist. She's just getting back into making her work and beginning to go into exhibitions and doing the art trail and things. So she was doing some work for that. and. I had a little knit and then I had a lovely nap. It was heaven. I'm gonna yawn. That's because I was talking about napping. It wasn't even a real yawn. It was one of those unsatisfactory yawns. So now I'm at the supercharger at Membry Services on the M5. I think I've been sat here for about 10 minutes and I've got loads of battery now to get home. I can, I can clear off now. I'll get home no trouble um, when I get home granny and Popper will be there still and I think they're we're doing a barbecue well Toby's obviously in charge because I'm not there so that feels really nice um, granny will have done the boys school uniform because she's epic and that's about that really I'm kind of gutted that Granny and Popper came on the weekend that I was going away, but it was the only weekend that they could do because Popper is a 
beekeeper and an, and a teacher for beekeeping and he's just got loads of things going on so it was the only weekend that they could come so that's a shame because I like seeing them but can't always have it can you right so I'm gonna unplug when I get to 40% I'm on 39% now that is way more than I need to get home from here that's enough for Toby to take Teddy back to school tomorrow morning as well but I will plug in at home and um, tomorrow will be just all the usual Monday put the house back together jobs do the laundry if there's any left because granny is the washing fairy see you a bit later with some probably some granny and popper shenanigans Hmm? Smile at me. No, Come on. I'm not smiling. <laughs> Wave, Papa. <laughs> Had half a on a and I've got it on film. <laughs> I've got it on film. You go. Hey! I blame the dog for peeing on the floor. <laughs> and it yeah. wasn't. It's great. It, it, and it's just threw a drink. <laughs> and Margot gets the blame for piddling on the piddling <laughs> floor. Nice clothes, Toby. Let me see your footwear. Come here. Look, I'm wearing these what, jeans. What? Look, so you stand in the perfect How place. So you've got one. Jeans? One These foot hiding behind Popper. 30 years old. He's wearing 30 year old jeans. <laughs> and annoying, go I've there. now got a tear in them. Well, I that's what take, you bloody I should do. take them back. But every pair of jeans I've got has a tear there, but not after. These have lasted 30 years. You bought them for me when I was at university in Bristol. I remember those ones when you were at Cambridge and I turned up. And they cost quite a lot of money and you just slip. <laughs> Let's just get you up here, Granny. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. We could be here till midnight. <laughs> you know those candles you can't blow out? These ones is this, you can't blow out. This is... This is... <laughs> Time for struck <laughs> chip on the floor that someone had dropped and he thought it was the funniest thing he'd ever seen. He got it from this woman. Oh shit. Oh Christ. So sorry. What do you mean from this woman? You mean my mother? <laughs> that wasn't what I like. How, How many men does it take to light some candles? How many candles, Gaynor? Four. Have you got four candles? <laughs> Are they four candles? No, they're four candles. <laughs> Are they four candles? Yeah. Do you want four candles or four candles? <laughs> four candles. <laughs> 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 thing that we got him a couple of years ago for his birthday. Oh. Yay. Go 
because you can see the bats and hear them when you put that thing on. You're going to find out what kind of bat it is. We've got a Swedish log on the go. So far, so good. Can <laughs> you see a bat? You can see a bat. Use your skylight. I won't catch it on film because they're too quick and too small. Mm -hmm.